What's going on, guys? Dr. Senpai back here again. And I still have my pretty shitty cold, so bear with me. Much <coughs> more. Alright, so. Bright. Bright, bright, bright. Um, another movie that is being brutally massacred by the fucking critics because the critics hate Will Smith. Fuck the critics. Because Bright was very good. Okay, I'm gonna say right now, I enjoyed Bright. So if you don't know what Bright is, it's a uh, well in the movie it, it's pretty much it's pretty much about a, a modern day world, but with um, orcs, elves, fairies, and like in, in normal humans and everything. So we have humans, and there's like orcs and elves, right? where the elves are like the richest people in the world. They pretty much run the world, and orcs are like. <coughs> mostly gang members and gang bangers even though it's kind of like wait so how, how much are they gang bangers and you know gang members most of the time because there's still humans are like that too so it's like what's their deal then but anywho bright um i actually uh enjoyed this movie a lot it really wasn't a bad movie i really had a good time watching it i didn't love it or anything but i had a pretty good time watching it and uh I just don't understand why the critics hate it so much, but basically it starts with uh, two cops. Um, one is Will Smith and one is the other guy who is an orc and everything. So the cop, so the cop, oh, it's a uh, officer Ward and officer Jacoby and Jacoby is the uh, orc guy. And this orc guy is um, the first orc who's ever joined the police. Hey, whoever joined the LAPD police department and everything, which is a pretty big deal in this world, as orcs are commonly hated, which, <coughs> I don't know, they get into a lot of the political shit, which, you know, I'm not a giant big fan of, so I'm gonna probably have to knock off a point here or there about that, where it's like, yeah, they, they, they get, like, ultra political, but there's like, look how this reflects, there, there's even a line where it says, fair lives don't matter today, it's like, are you, are you fucking kidding me, man, <laughs> like, seriously, but... That's not too much of a big problem, but, you know, it's... Orcs are commonly hated in this world, while elves are, like, the rich white people, I guess. So, you know, it's... Humans have been pretty much degraded to, like, the middle class of the entire world. So, you know, it's kind of interesting, because... <clears throat> what these cops do is... They're, they're partners and everything, and... Officer Ward doesn't want... Um, Officer Jacoby with him. Because he almost got him killed one time when he was shot by another orc and everything. So he was kind of pissed off about that. But basically when Ward came back to the office and, you know, they're doing their normal cop thing until they so happened to come across another, um, a young elf woman named Tika who has a magic wand. And magic wands are supposed to be really rare. And the only people who can handle these wands are beings known as brights, where people who won't explode because of the magic inside the wand. But you know, it's kind of interesting. It's kind of an interesting concept. Uh, this movie is very gritty, you know, and <coughs> it's set in like a gritty type world. And some people say it wasn't executed too well. But well, my thing is, you know. How well are they, where are they gonna ex be able to execute something like that <coughs> extremely well without putting it? In, it, it I think they did a good job putting it in a grounded world and everything. You know, you got you get a simple feel of it. Like, you know, orcs are the hated ones, humans are meh, and then elves are the high ones. You know, it, it's really not that hard. And fairies are kind of like seen as little pests and everything. And I I felt um some of the prosthetics and the uh. I'm not going to say CGI, but, you know, some of the makeup work for, like, elves and the orcs and everything. I found it very realistic. This movie felt immersive in this world. <clears throat> I felt like, you know, as watching this movie, I got a good feel for the world in Bright. And, you know, it was kind of interesting. And normally you think Magic Wand is pretty nerdy, but, you know, they, they take this shit really seriously. I mean, the feds in this movie are, like, the magic. So, something about, they're like the... They're basically all about keeping magic confined because magic's supposed to be really powerful and everything. And this certain magic wand they have in the movie could resurrect this thing called the Dark Lord, <coughs> who almost fucked up the world. 
pretty much 2,000 years ago in that world. So you want to keep magic, you know, safe and everything. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty, it's kind of interesting. So these two officers and this elf chick are carrying this wand with them. And you get to follow their adventure as, you know, they're basically being stopped by multiple paths and other things for people who want the magic wand, you know. It was kind of interesting. Um, the two cops, you know, Ward obviously is the human, and he doesn't like the orc and everything because you know it's commonly often they hate orcs, but you know he kind of sees on the orc side and everything like these guys aren't that bad. Like the orc is even he he finds out the orc is even hated by his own people because he's not like <coughs> he's not like part of their clan or anything. Like he he doesn't have um. I don't, I don't I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was like he's not clan blooded or anything like that. So he doesn't. So he he was pretty much grown up as an outsider his whole life and everything, which you know is kind of interesting. And you kind of see you also see the story from Ward's point of view too, where he's like this guy. You know, you get to feel Will Smith's character Ward. You kind of get to see that you know he's seen some shit. So you know he's not entirely up for like new partners and everything. He's been through some shit. He's done some shit. And, you know, he's not too comfortable with a lot of partners and everything. So, you know, he prefers, you know, have his own space and he doesn't want to have a lot of partners. And you, you get to see these two characters, you know, hate each other to becoming, you know, friends. It's, it's a buddy cop movie, kind of, <coughs> with some magical shit in it. But, you know, I think it uh, blends well, if that makes sense. Um, the acting was spot on. I, I believe that these two were... Um, a good team, a good cop team, and everything. By the end of it, you know, you got a, you got you got to see a lot of character building, which is really nice. And th this movie was shot pretty good for a Netflix movie. This is a Netflix movie, so it's it's pretty much free if you pay ten dollars for Netflix. So you know, it's you know, you, you get a you, you get a pretty good movie for your bucks and everything. And like I said, it's shot nicely. All the um, art looks really. <clears throat> not the art but like the um scenery looks really good um the story the plot is pretty good it makes sense by the end of it all and uh overall it's just you know it, it's pretty good you know it's not it's not anything too spectacular because not a lot of things happen by the end of it um it, 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 it feels pretty uh fast if that makes sense it feels uh pretty fast Sometimes where you're watching it and you're like, wow, that kind of went by a little fast and everything. So watch out for that. <coughs> and I don't know how many times, but I think they rely too much on F-bombs. Because I swear they said, fuck, 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 fuck. And more fucks. Like every sentence they say and everything. It's like, you, you don't have to do that, you know, to convey that you're a gritty movie. You know, it, it felt kind of annoying sometimes. You know, but that's pretty much kind of like small kind of gripes about it. But otherwise, it was a pretty decent, good movie. You know, <laughs> if you have Netflix, I check it out. Um, if it was in theaters, probably nah. It, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't really feel like you know a big movie production, but it looked good enough. You know, so and you know, I I don't know. My, my main thing was I really enjoyed the world of how you know it blended together with real life. With this magical stuff in it, so you know, I thought that was a, a good treat. So yeah, bright guys, I'm gonna give this movie a uh, 7.5 out of 10 for pretty decent. You know, <coughs> I think you're gonna have a good time, but you know, you don't you don't need to watch it a few times to be this movie's amazing and everything. But it's like, hey, I I think you guys will like it if you guys watch it. So uh, if you guys have seen it, uh, let me know in the comments comments and everything but break 7.5 out of 10 please check it out uh